Rebel 30 from Eggnator. There's a lot to like about this amplifier. Let's have a look. Now this is your typical two-channel amplifier. Has a, a bright switch and a few other switches, tight and bright, uh, I guess for compression. The clean channel sounds excellent, very, very fender -y. You can get a nice fender clean with the uh, clean channel. It has reverb, a digital reverb, which is a very nice kind of high-tech sounding reverb. I like, you know, the reverb in a recording console. Sounds very nice. Okay, the reverb controls are on the back of the amp, and there's one for each channel. Uh, uh, excellent feature. You're going to want less reverb usually on your distortion channel than your clean channel. You can do that with this amp. You also have an effects loop and impedance selector for your speaker. It's got what you, what you would need. It also has a record line out, which I've tested. Sounds excellent. Uh, you'd have a hard time telling the difference between that and, and the speaker mic'd up with a, with a good microphone. It also has a closed back speaker cabinet. Closed back. Now the advantage of a closed back speaker cabinet is it's, it's highly directional. Before I had this amp I was using one of my vintage deluxe reverbs and uh, it's an open back cabinet so it produces sound all around the amplifier. Keyboard player was always complaining that I was too loud, he couldn't hear his keyboards. Keyboard players can never hear their keyboards. With this amp, I could aim it away from him, and he didn't hear it hardly at all. So he loved this amplifier. Just be careful where you aim it, because if whatever you're aiming it at, they're going to hear it. So I would set it off to the side and uh, aim it at me. Now the cabinet is made of birch, which is good. And it's got something they call an Elite 80 speaker in it. I've never had it open to see what speaker's in there. And it's not that heavy. It's not that bad. A little bit awkward because it's pretty deep. But it's a nice sounding cabinet. I would say that's a plus for this. I like. I wouldn't say there's anything I really dislike about this amplifier. But there are some things of note. For example, this has both 6V6s and EO84s. So you're thinking, wow, I could have a deluxe reverb or an AC30. But that's, that's not really the case. The difference, and you control with this knob, you can mix the two. You can have it all the way to 6V6 or all the way to EL84 or any place in between. The difference is very subtle. I would have liked this amp if it had just 6V6s or EL84s. There's not a lot of difference. I think what makes a deluxe reverb sound so different than an AC30 has a lot more to do, there's a lot more to do with it than just the power tubes. So I guess it's a nice feature, but I could have lived without that. The other thing, this, this power attenuator for each channel, that's a fabulous idea to have a, a type of master volume or power attenuator for each channel. I've been waiting for that on amps forever, but these really aren't master volumes or power attenuators. I'm not exactly sure what they do. They change the feel of the amp, but they change the volume of the amp very little. It's not like the master voltage on the 65 amps or even a typical master volume. I wish those amps had something like this. So had this functioned really as a master volume, I would have loved it because, you know, what you want to do, you want to have the master volume up full on your clean channel so that it can be nice and, and bright with lots of headroom. And then you want to be able to dial it back on your distortion channel so that you can get a great overdriven sound at a reasonable volume. But again, these really don't affect the volume that much. Now, as far as channel two, the distortion overdrive channel, I'm not crazy about that. But I have to say, I'm not crazy about distortion channels in just about any amps, very few. Uh, I'm more of a pedal guy. And this is a great pedal platform. Channel one will take your pedals beautifully. So I wouldn't necessarily hold that against it. That's probably me. I've seen uh, other people using these amps and using the distortion channel and it sounds just fine. It's just not my thing. Overall for the price, for all the features you get, 
with this amplifier for the price, I think it's a good buy. I used it for a number of years while I was playing country music. When I switched back to a rock band, I went to something different, but I still have it because it's a good all-round kind of amp to have. So there it is. There's my thoughts on the Rebel 30. Thanks for watching.